Greater Good Radio. Connect, learn, heal, and grow. My brother came home one day, two months of jujitsu, and he goes, Egan, you got to see this. This is the most unbelievable thing. And I'd be like, jujitsu there. He goes, no, no. If I get you to the ground, I can submit you. I go, what do you mean submit me? I can make you quit. I'm like, you can't make me quit. You can't get me to the ground either because I was a stand-up guy mostly, right? I, all my arts are all standing up. And I go, you can't get me to the ground. So he cleared my parents' parlor or the living room. We moved everything on the side. And then I go, okay, let's try. And then he would take me down and then he would make me tap. Like he would choke me. And I'd be like, <laughs> tap. Like, yeah, but I didn't even try to hit you. He goes, you cannot hit me. I go, I don't want to hit you. I'm going to hurt you if I hit you. And that's what you hear a lot of in, in MMA, right? Try it again. And by the time the last one was, I'm going to freaking knock him out already because now i got rug burns on my knees, my elbow, on my face, and I'm, like, pissed off, and I'm sweating, and everything's burning. So, yeah, I'm going to freaking knock your head off this time. Still took me now. And I was like, man, i got to start learning this stuff. This is the like, incredible martial art. And then you had to learn it because incredible martial art is because my little brother is getting me, bro. No ways. It, actually, that little brother thing disappeared because he's actually bigger than me. Mm. He always has been. But younger brother wise, it could be that. But it was more like I was like, this is incredible. I I was more intrigued. Like I couldn't believe that that could happen to me. He's never done martial arts his whole life. I've been doing martial arts my whole life, and he can do that to me. That makes me think that all the martial arts I learned is no good. Did nothing for me as far as self defense. And two months after that, we were in Seattle, and they had the nationals, and we we're playing in the racquetball nationals. And after the tournament was over. We're like, oh, let's go, you know, we'll go do something. So we're driving down, and I still remember, it's called Battery Street, right underneath the Space Needle. And we're in the center lane, and then these girls pull up on the left lane and go, hey, come to this party. So we're like, yeah, yeah, go. And my friend Guy is driving, so Guy, go, go, follow him. So they turn left, but we're in the center lane. This left lane could go straight or left. So he, you know, all excited, just doesn't look, makes it on, boom, again to this big accident. This big, big guy comes out. Like, just yoked, and, like, his eyes are just huge, and he's jumping up and down like a gorilla. Like, that's how big he was. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, so we get out of the car. He immediately goes to the guy, shoves him backwards on the So he's laying on his back on the hood of the car. So and an I'm, Asian guy, your friend? Yeah, my friend's like, no, a white guy. Oh. And then the guy going nuts is a black guy. Mm -hmm. So it's a really bad thing. <laughs> and my brother and I get out, and I look at the guy. I'm like, I'm Man, like, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, Hapkido, Karate. And I'm thinking, I don't know how I'm going to hurt this guy. Like, I'm thinking to myself, like, where am I going to hit this guy to stop this guy? He's so freaking massive. And then my brother comes walking on a car, super calm. And he looks at me and goes, I got this. Go, you got this. Oh, frick. Let me see this, right? Tries to get in the way. The guy's, like, shoving, shoving my brother. So, I, like, I run over there, and I don't want to see a fight. So, I'm like, okay, guys, I'm going to call the police. Just, just calm down. So I turn around, I start, jog I start jogging. I'm like, not even 15 feet. All of a sudden, I hear my brother scream. I turn around, and I see this guy's feet in the air, and I hear a thump on the ground, and my brother's sitting on the guy. So I come running back. I'm like, oh, my gosh, how did that happen? And then my brother freaking hits him like I, at least 10 times in the face, and like, you can hear the guy's head hitting the concrete. Ka -tong, ka -tong. Nothing. The guy reaches up, grabs my brother's shirt, and starts pulling it, like ripping I'm like, oh, my God, this is like a movie. This is a bad, bad dream. So I start running around looking like how I'm going to kick this guy in the head, right? And my brother's like protecting the guy. I go, no, 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 no. Like, I got this. I got this. I'm like, how you freaking got this? The guy just ripped their shirt off. Guy turns around. My brother gets to his back, chokes him. Guy stands up now, and he's getting choked, and he's spinning around in a circle. And all of a sudden, they go, boom, they land on my brother. And we're like, is he out? Is he out? And I go, I get really close, and I look. I'm like, I don't know. What do you mean he's out? He goes, is he out? Like, is he passed out? Is he knocked out? I go, I don't know, but he's going like this. So I go like that to my brother. And he goes, he's out. Yeah. He goes, so my brother lets go. And the guy's like dead weight on my brother. And my brother can't get out from under him. I'm trying to shove the guy off. So he goes, help me. So I grab the guy's arm. I start pulling him. And my friend Guy comes. He was one leg, one arm, pulling him off my brother. That's how big this guy was. We finally get him off. We run back to the car. Let's get out of here. So we start taking off. And we're like, wait, wait, wait. I got to make sure he didn't die. Stop. Like, what do you mean? I don't care if he dies. Let's just get the hell out of here because he, he ain't dead. He's going to get up and we're going to really be in for it. Guy gets to his knees. We see him shake his head. We see him hold his head. And we're like, okay, get out of here. Let's go. Sign me up for jujitsu. That was it. That, I was sold.
I've never witnessed something like that in my life. If you resonate with Greater Good Radio, please join our community at www.greatergoodradio.com where you can get access to exclusive content and offerings. Hope to see you soon.